Hi, this is Lori Williams from the Alcohol Inc. Art Community, and today I want to introduce a new challenge. This month's challenge is going to be the Tiny Dancer Challenge, and it will entail creating, using alcohol inks and, and other mixed media if you choose, a tiny dancer, like a ballerina or a ball girl. Um, I'm going to leave it a little open, and you can choose you know kind of what you want to do but for those who may be intimidated about uh, creating your own sketch I actually have available a download of the scratch sketch that I created that you can simply download and trace or you can actually print it on UPO this size is a 5 by 7 and it is ready to print directly on UPO if you choose just to show you real quick, this is, if you can see the sketches here, you can see the bottom part of her legs and feet and the top part of her arms, her face, and a hairline. And now what I'm going to do is use alcohol ink to create my tiny dancer. And I am going to demonstrate that for you. So the first first thing I want to do, I have a couple of um, Spectrum Noir markers. You may want, you may use Copic markers. You may use alcohol ink if you don't have a marker. Um, you can even use Sharpie, uh, Copic, Spectrum Noir. Um, Michaels now has Artist Loft alcohol ink marker, so if you wanted to give that a try, but you want to have sort of a flesh tone. And what I'm using here is the Spectrum Noir PP1. And I am going to start and color all the flesh parts of her body with this PP1. Just real quick. This is not going to necessarily be the focus of my painting, but I do want to get this sketched in there. I'm just going to paint down so I know the fir first part of her body will will be this skin tone color, which is actually, PP1 is actually sort of a peach color. I tried using some of the peach colors of the um, Spectrum Noir markers and they they were actually quite uh, opaque, um, clear, almost like a blending solution and you couldn't see them on the paper at all. So I decided um, for the purposes of demonstrating this, uh, this pink color would work a little bit better. So I'm just coloring in using the marker these areas. And then real quick, I'm gonna go on a cheat. This is a this color is PP3, it's a little bit darker color, and I'm just gonna give her a little definition her face and then some color along the under part of her arms to indicate a little bit of shadowing. Just very subtle, but there. I'm not trying to get too technical with this particular um, demonstration. I just want to show you the way the challenge is going to go. Okay, so that is her, her body painted and now I'm going to determine which color uh, gown I want to give her or dress and I think for this one I am going to use one of my favorite colors which is Wild Plum. And I am going to use, you can use uh, canned air to blow the ink. I'm going to use my air compressor. I use um, a Centro Nomadic. It's a 58 um, PSI uh, pressure. And it. Um, I got it at Harbor Freight. Um, you can go online to uh, www.htt, I'm sorry, www.harborfreight.com and check out um, type in your airbrush compressor and you'll see a bunch of them. There's one that is the central pneumatic. It's 58 D, um, PSI and I think it standardly runs for around $84 and they always, you're always able to get at least a 20% coupon at Harbor Freight by joining their uh, text messaging or their email list. So I recommend you go and, and check that out. Okay, let's see. I am going to start with blowing a little bit of this wild plum. Now, I'm not gonna do the top part yet. I'll do that um, when I'm done. So I'm gonna try to choose right about where her waist is. And I'm gonna drop one single drop of the wild plum 
And what I'm gonna do, this is my air compressor, and I've got my pressure, chest my pressure, and I'm gonna take it and go down in the direction that I want her dress to go. And the more I blow until it's dry, the more veins in the dress, so it gives the illusion that she has a dress with many layers. And I'm gonna do another drop here. Ooh. And so we have a really pretty skirt going th that's starting for her dress. I'm going to do one more drop and try to get down and kind of match, match symmetrically this side, left side here. So, one drop and then I'm going to take my air compressor. There we go. Okay, I need one more. The ink decided I needed one more. They, they're in control, I'm not. Okay, so this is what I'm going to use for her dress. And now, I'm done with that portion of it. I am going to take a small brush. I'm going to grab one of my small brushes. Now, I am going to take a little bit of this ink, and I'm going to take a little bit of alcohol. I use 91% um, isopropyl alcohol. If you use alcohol, make sure you're in a well-ventilated room. If the fumes bother you, make sure that you wear um, an aspirator or mask. I uh, use a surgical mask, but I'm in a big, a large area that's well ventilated, and so I, I don't even smell the alcohol, um, which is great. So I am going to get my get one of my weld palettes here. I have one that's got some stuff in it, but I'm going to just drop a drop here in the weld palette. And I'm going to dip the brush into my alcohol. And then I take, I always keep paper towels underneath, and I'm just going to take this and dry it on the paper towel. So it's just lightly wet with the, with the um, alcohol. And then I'll dip it into the edges of my wild plum that's in the palette that started to, to um, thicken because the, the alcohol evaporates. This, when, it, when it thickens, that allows you to uh, paint with it with a little more control. So I'm just going to come here and paint in a little body for her that flows right into the skirt I just created. Now you can use multiple colors and I would like to challenge you to use your creativity in this one and see what you come up with. You might choose to put backgrounds on. You might choose to mask portions of it uh, using frisket or masking fluid. Um, I'm going to leave that creativity up to you guys, and I really can't see, wait to see what you come up with. 